In this 2020 player outlook, we're going to be talking to Sean Watson, quarterback, Houston Texans. And as always, if you've been enjoying all the hard work from the RotoHeat.com team, hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the notification icon. Head over to RotoHeat.com slash Patreon and show some love. We appreciate you guys. We're glad that we're able to be part of your life, and, and we're so thankful for everything that's going on and helping make RotoHeat great. Everything's on fire. Everything's on fire. Wow, Deshaun Watson. If, if you're if you're Deshaun Watson or if you're listening to Deshaun Watson, we're sorry, man. You know you are such a good quarterback, and and who it just it's so hard to imagine what they're thinking when they're like, listen, we've got this amazing quarterback who it gives us 4,000 yards and 26 passing touchdowns a season. We're just going to trade your best option and give you a bunch of guys who get hurt all the time. Not saying they're not quality receivers. Will Fuller and, and Deshaun Watson have great chemistry. When they're both on the field together, good things happen. Brandon Cooks, obviously we see everywhere he goes when he's healthy, he makes it rain. Uh, you know, uh, Randall Cobb is a very solid number three receiver. They've got um, Isaiah, they've, they've drafted some young guys, uh, Coulter and some of these, these receivers that could develop into something, uh, you know, but there's just so many question marks that you feel bad for Deshaun Watson because you feel like with a, with an meh offensive line, a meh running game, meh tight end, a lot of question marks at receiver. It's like, man, Sean Watson's just going to have to do it all himself. And, you know, and even him, I mean, you know, he's been mostly healthy since his rookie season, but remember his rookie season, he only played in seven games. Uh, and even last year, he still missed time. Uh, so, you know, so it, they have to be careful with him. He's still young. You know, he's only 24. Uh, he's going to be around for a long time, and he's a talented guy. Uh, but you have to you have to give him something to work with. Uh, now, that being said, you know, I would expect to see him, you know, around 4,000 passing yards, around 25 to 30 touchdowns. You know, he'll sprinkle in a few interceptions here and there. You know, he's, he's right around 8 to 12 interceptions a year, um, which isn't amazing, but isn't terrible. Uh, he's going to give you some on the ground, too. You know, the thing with him is we need something. We need consistency from some of these options. Now, the guys on the team, for the most part, all have him right around their quarterback three uh, for 2020. So it's it's not like we're down on him. We actually love him. Everybody on the Roto Heat team, uh, when, we, when we're talking about him, you know, we all love him. Now, obviously, everybody knows losing losing Hopkins is huge. Anybody loses Hopkins, that's huge. I mean, that that's why we like Kyler so much because he gained such a such a potent weapon. That being said, Deshaun Watson's going to have to to do a lot of things differently this year because he doesn't have that safety blanket. We know Hopkins was going to be there and be healthy and and give him everything he's got and and catch everything thrown his way. Fuller's got to stay healthy. Now, obviously, talk so far, good things. Looks good. We're excited. That being said. He's al he always seems to get hurt. Now, we don't like, can't always say always, but he gets hurt a lot. So we gotta be careful there. Uh, Brandon Cooks, obviously, you know, he's had a lot of a lot of concussions here lately. We gotta be careful there. Uh, so you know, we're comfortable with Deshaun Watson as your as the top five quarterback. I mean, he's, he's arguably going to be one of the better quarterbacks in fantasy, but there's so many question marks that when you're doing your redrafts, you know, where do you take him? Now, obviously, it's redraft season. I've been jumping in and doing some redrafts, and I've taken Deshaun Watson. I'm not, you know, me personally, I'm not afraid to take him and, and let him be my QB1 because I trust the player. I trust what he's continued to do, you know, um, He's getting around 500 passing attempts a season, and I think he's probably going to have to do something like that. Um, if David Johnson's healthy, he's a capable receiver out of the backfield. You know, they have some some running backs that can do some receiving for him as well. So I think Deshaun Watson's a talented enough quarterback that he will find ways to make magic happen for this team. Um, I just, you know, I need to see more from these receivers to get super excited about him. But, you know, how much more excited can you be than a top 10 quarterback? I mean... He's not going to beat out Patrick Mahomes and probably not going to beat out Lamar. He could get in the conversation with Lamar easily because of they're both super talented, and I think Deshaun Watson's a better passer. So that being said, take him as your top 5, 10 quarterback, QB1, and be happy with it because we certainly are. Um, I know, you know, for those of you that listen to Sully's Two Cents, Sully is a, is a fan. Um, he had him penciled in as, a, as the third quarterback before the Hopkins trade. Um, now he's kind of got him in the 4-5 to five range. And, uh, you know, all of the guys on the team are very similar in their thinking, you know. 
top five, top six, top 10, you know, everybody's in that same class. So let us know in the comments, is Deshaun Watson a top 10 quarterback for you? And if he isn't, why isn't he? I wanna know, change my mind, because I think he's top five. I actually think he's top three. You know, I've, I've got Mahomes, Lamar, Deshaun, because they're not only are they super young and talented, they can do it. I mean, we've seen it, it's been proven. So let us know in the comments below what you think about Sean Watson. Go to therotoheat.com and, and check out all of our player outlooks. We've got written articles to go with all these amazing videos you're getting. Um, we also have leagues. Go over to our, our Facebook community, go over to Discord, jump in there. We got redraft leagues that we're starting. If you haven't listened to Sully's Two Cents, you better get on there. Find it on all your major pl podcast platforms. He's talking redraft, redraft only. He's giving you what you need for your eardrums to be successful in 2020 and beyond. And we'll talk to you guys next time. Also, right there, playlist. Hit it. Watch the videos. Do it. You want to? Do it.